All right. Good morning, everybody. Welcome to Stop Navigator, a private trading room. Today is September 12, 2019. Let's see how the market doing right now. Uh, first of all, let's look at the uh, SP500. As you can see, right now, overnight, the market is push up. And then we are right into the sale zone. Okay, so this is a very critical level for the SP500. So uh, we want to see that are they be able to uh, break out and go higher, or they will stop right here and revert. Okay, before we can get a further uh, uh, clear direction. And remember, today is the contract roll over day. Right now, I'm using, using a September contract, but uh, uh, let me see by the weekend, and then I will change it. Probably next week, we have to change to the December contract. So that's why uh, any one of you that trading future should have to watch out for the symbol chain. Okay, instead of you, we have to move to the December. Uh, September, we will change it to December. So right now, you see the market is get into the sell zone right here. Okay, so you have to be very cautious today. A contract roll over day, anything can happen. But definitely, everybody will pay very close attention at this level. Okay, so this is the sell zone right there. So let's see the market be able to punch through it and go to test the Y dot line here or the uh, pink dot line here. Okay. So we will see it how they develop today and tomorrow. The momentum right now is still bullet, as you can see. Okay. And then on the uh, uh, short term uh, day trader, as you can see, the market is pulled back down. Okay. And now they are climb back up. So right now at this moment, they hold this level. Okay. If, if they continue to go high, higher, they have to break this level and go test the uh, up to this level here. Okay. So we will see it how uh, when the market open. Let's see what they want to do, because otherwise if they don't do that, then then we have to watch out very careful because they are right into the top of the market right now. So uh, you have to be careful, okay? And uh, let's look at the uh, the RTY, the Russell 2000, the Russell 2000 right now. It, ah, let's see. Let's see it running uh, the last couple of days very fast. You see that this one I have been rolling for your guy a long time. So two Y parallel dot line here. Okay. And you can see that they go here and then they hold it up. Now they pull right into this zone right here. Okay. So, but the sell zone is right here. So let's see that they be able to punch to get it up here or they will revert right at the Y uh, downtrend line here. Okay. So in the meantime, look at the uh, uh, 60 minute chart. Okay, so right now, they are heading to the top right now. Okay, so, so if we want to see this will be the top for them or they will continue. If they break this level today, okay, it means that the market is still going up and then they go up one more leg to test it. But if they fail, to go higher at this level, and then they can uh, pull back down, okay, and test uh, 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 down below before they can go higher, okay. We have to see it here. Let me show you here. Okay, so right now two scenarios can happen. They can go back here, and then they can pull back down. If they back out above here, definitely they will go higher, okay. So if they back down here, then you know that this is they're going to correct, okay, from the up here down to the retrainment area, if that's the case. But if they be able to break up and go higher, they will go higher to test the sell down up here, okay. So they have a couple resistance up here, okay. They have a sell down up here, and then they have a, a resistance down here, as you can see. So you have to be monitored more carefully, okay, to see how they doing. But definitely, Russell is the one that's more kept up. Have been uh, very bullet the last couple of days. They run very fast from the bottom to the top, so uh, they may run out, run out of gas. So we have to be watch out. All right. So that's for the Russell and for the YM. The Dow, hmm, 
the DAO would go right into the sell zone. They'd be able to break that trend line. So the DAO is the leader. You know, they are right here in the sell zone. So we want to see that are they be able to hold it up and keep momentum and put higher. Okay. And the uh, in the uh, shorter time frame, you can see that the DAO is uh, trying to hold up pretty well. So you know, right they are right into the sell zone. They get right into the sell zone and then they fail. So right now we want to see that the same thing like Russell. Are they able to back out and go here and test one more leg? Or if they don't do that, they back out below here and then it will go down. But look at the daily chart. It still look like it still have some momentum. They pull back up as long as they hold up about it like here. And then they still have a chance to go higher. Okay. And overall it's still wounded. Okay. So let's see how they doing today but watch out for the sales on here okay so that for the uh, ym for the nq nq is pretty uh, bullet too so nq at this moment you still see that the bull is still under the control and they are at, at, at the, the way three and way four yesterday they go into the way four abc down and now look like it one two three four and look like it if they take this one here they hit to the five way okay and test right into the sell zone over here so on the daily chart let's see the critical level for the nq also so every one of them is right hit to the sell zone so you have to be very very cautious and open your eyes to see what they're going to do at this level okay and for oil huh the oil is interesting the oil, we have to identify the resistant level. So we have a sell zone that's waiting for them right here. And then they couldn't break through this sell zone. Okay. You can see it right here. This is the first sell zone. And then they get stuck right into this sell zone right here. Okay. Now they pull back now. And now they have a support on the bottom. Let's see how they do it. Okay. And overall, in the short term, you can see that the market had put it up right into the sell zone right here, which he did sell zone here, and then they fell. And now, they yesterday we thought that if they fell, they will continue to go lower, okay? So now, like the oil, they try to travel in, in the sideway between the sell zone and the buy zone. And you can see that this is one, two, three, four, five, so they will get into the buy zone uh, and the support somewhere around here, okay? So that's how all we're doing right now. And for the goal, the goal yesterday, if they be able to uh, put it down right into the support line right here. So the question is, are they, they finished it ABC down yesterday and then they start climb back up. So now if they see, if they be able to hold at this level and put back up and then they can, if the market going down, it's when they come back up and test the final of way number five up here, okay? So if that's the case, if they cannot hold this level, they revert here, and then that will be a first side trouble for gold because they will come in back down and the market will go higher, okay? So you, you can monitor this side and look at the market, how they go, okay? So right now they try to roll back up and let's see they'll be able to roll back up or they will revert and come down. It depends on the market. So that's for the goal. And the last thing is for the bond. The bond is uh, uh, on the way down. As you can see, the bond that have been break out uh, at this level that we saw you uh, in the last couple of days. You see they break this level right here. So everything at the heading south okay it you continue to go lower okay and right now you continue lower and this is where you have to watch out and take the profit to see the buy zone right here okay so let's see how far but if they go more they break this one here they have a three level here to test it out okay and this is the final or the worst case scenario they can get up down here before they can buy back up okay so that the support area for the bond. If the bond going down, the 
market going up, with the bond going up, the market will go down. Okay, and the Bitcoin, the Bitcoin, it seems like they're able to hold up this level in the short term. I think they finished it at way one, way two, and now they are on the way to way three. Okay, so now they see the support. So look like they finished the first way up here, and then they may pull back a little bit before they can get more momentum and push it higher. And uh, for the euro, the euro is interesting. The euro do have a lot of issue in euro. Look like the euro. It, this is the first buy zone. This is the major support area for the euro. So they pull back up, and then they a lot of buyer come back here, and now they slam it down. But they found up a bottom, and then they get rejected again. So the buyer come in again. So let's see if they're able to hold at this level and make it double bottom or not. We will see. Okay. But definitely it right now that they are right in the buy down. When they get touched at this level, the buyer come right back in, push it back up. The only thing for the euro is to go higher. They have to break this level. Okay. And then break out the trend line and the down trend line right here. Okay, so this one is a critical level. So if they be able to hold this one, they will with double bottom formation and then the back out here. Let's see the first side of the euro will come back up. Okay, so that's how all the market doing right now. 